I think that sustainability has got to be important to everybody's work right now. I mean, it's, it's a, a kind of critical um, factor of how everybody's going to be thinking in the next, in the next few years. The challenge of modern production is sustainability. We can't just produce and produce without thinking about uh, what will happen with everything that we produce. We see it in Hydro every day, actually, that uh, our customers uh, more frequently are asking, so where does this metal come from? Is it uh, post-consumer scrap, meaning has it been used before? How much CO2 has been emitted uh, from producing these metals? Hydro has a um, very ambitious plan when talking about climate. We want to be carbon neutral by 2020. It is very essential that we recycle aluminium now. We live in the society that is growing. When we already design the product, at the end of life it has to be recycled. Because now we have to change our thinking to circular economy. Sustainability is one of the key aspects for Hydro. We control the full chain of production. So we are working on recycling concepts, but also on technologies. We have some R&D projects where we specifically develop, for example, scrap handling systems. So I think this is our contribution to be sustainable for the future. There are different ways to lower the carbon footprint for aluminum production. One way is to use hydropower. The other way is to make the process energy effective and this is done with this pilot here at Carme. And the third way is to use post-consumer scrap, so to recycled aluminium. Hydro has launched two products in order to be part of the reduction of the carbon footprint. These two products are called 75R, that means an alloy that has 75% at least of recycled material. The other product is called 4.0 and it means that the alloy that we deliver has a maximum carbon footprint of 4.0. That means even lower than the average that Hydro delivers usually. The challenge in producing 75R is uh, really in the sorting of scrap. It is uh, quite demanding to sort well the scrap coming to the scrapyard. You have to shred it and then mechanically sort it. The difficulty is that it's not only aluminium in the products. So in order to get uh, the alloy with a certain composition, you have to very well sort uh, the type of scrap. The benefits of recycling aluminium is that you need much less energy. If you have the right recycling loop installed, you can recycle up to 80, 90% of the material again and find it in the same application in the end. I think this is really uh, fantastic. You find uh, still aluminum in the loop, which is, for example, produced 30 years ago. People want to produce things locally because they, they want to be in control of the supply chain and it's also more practical. And of course from a sustainability point of view uh, it makes sense. So uh, we think that uh, you know, producing locally uh, will become more important in the years to come. <laughs>